Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to create multiple data frames. Now the benefit of multiple data frames is you can set up and get everything consistent, have a single legend, have a north arrow, have a graphic scale, etc. Now the thing I want to point out here is that that will allow you to have everything consistent on one map and then you can export it out to put on your poster, uh, which we'll cover in subsequent videos. Um, so how do we create that data frame? Well, you can see we have our first one here. I've retitled it visualization. You can move it around. You can resize it, rescale it, etc. But if we want another one, we can go up to insert and type data frame. Now it puts a new data frame here. And again, you can move it around. I'm going to resize it so they're roughly the same size here. get them at least a little bit lined up so something like that but you notice it just says new data frame there is no data in there so one way to do that is you can see I do have so I have my uh, one census data here and let's say I want to put this one here in my other data frame all I have to simply do is grab it and drag and it'll provide a copy in that new data frame and I can turn it on and because I've already symbolized it appropriately it will fit and then I can simply right click on both to zoom to layer and it gives me these uh, roughly equal scale or you can just simply go up and type in a scale so I could do something like so and you can simply then pan and roughly line these things up now you notice there's a little bit of difference here because um, there are two different projections so again you can right click and you can go to properties and just make sure your coordinate systems are the same so you just want to make sure that stuff's consistent and so that's how you have multiple data frames and you can move layers between them and so it allows uh, increased consistency in scaling and, and whatnot you can get it all set up here uh, which will set us up for our next grouping of videos which is export options thanks